Is that recording? Good morning. Good morning. How are we? 10 o'clock. What's today? Thursday. Come on in. We've only got a half hour, so we've got to crack on today. Chill, chill, hey? Chill, chill. How are you? Everybody all right? Good morning, Helen. First at, first at the door again. Always a pleasure to have your company. And Stuart's in the building with us this morning again. So if you have any questions, here's your man. It's just for half an hour today. Um, but I thought I'd set you a task, you know, and then I'll show you a new trick today, a new technique, or just, a, just go to a different part of the postcard, really. We'll have a look at that and then and then you can you could carry on when I have to shoot no don't come with me to Hochanda <laughs> come with me to Hochanda keep me company over there as well I don't know why I'm so nervous is the volume all right I'm not nervous with you guys not even a little bit Stuart good morning love could you just tell me whether the volume is okay sound is good excellent excellent right Cool, you should see the state of this place. It's absolutely rammed with paperwork and bits and it's it's all over. The the eleven o'clock TV show is all surrounded. So that so that at 1030 I could just lift off the eagles and put back the snowflakes and the pergamano things. It's really nice though what we're doing. I just have to the trouble is there's like this, our time together in the Shack Shack, what I find is that an hour is an hour, if you know what I mean. It just, it lasts for an hour and we get loads done. But I find on live TV, on, on the shopping channel, the hour just doesn't seem to be an hour. I don't seem to have any time. It's weird. It just flies. So I have to be very systematic about how to present it, you know, and, I, and then I have to, if my head goes like a washing machine, then game's over. But it'll be all right. It'll be all right, calm. That's why I thought it'd be really good if we get together this morning. Come on in. Get together this morning. Have your tea. Have a little bit of zen time. Just for half an hour. Eh? Be good. Be good. I ought to do this always before a TV show. If you're wondering how I can be doing a TV show above my garage, there's a whole TV studio in here. And what we do is we Skype live to the big studio, Hochanda, up in Peterborough. And that way, I don't have to uh, chase up to, to Peterborough and stay in hotels, because I just don't think it's safe at the moment. So they work with me on that. You know, because I still want to go and see my mum and dad, and I can't do that. If I, if I go up to Peterborough and I run around in, in, in the country, then I can't in good conscience then go and spend the weekends with my parents. It just doesn't work like that, does it? Are we ready to go? Is it 10 o'clock already? Yeah, come on, let's get going. I actually thought I'd come on at quarter two because I was early. I was early to the party, and then I thought, well, that's no good. They're going to say, well, that's just great. You know, I was ready at 10 o'clock, not at quarter to 10. Do you know, there's not even anywhere to put me cup. Um, let's put it there. Yeah, go on. And if you spill that on Linda Williams' artwork, then game's over. <laughs> it really is. Um, good morning. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Lovely to have your company. What does Shack Shack stand for? Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. Come on in. Horrible weather here. Sort of drizzly. Well, you know, we decided there is no such thing as bad weather apparently. So it's just good for the garden today. <laughs> it's good for crafters as well. When it's hot and sunny, then we tend to go in the garden. When it's all murky outside, we tend to craft. Isn't that true? Right, don't lose that grey. You're going to need that at 10 o'clock. Right, I'll put it there. <laughs> right, come on. Today, I thought we'd go to another part of the eagle because we've done the head, we've done the wings, we've done those lovely um, 
the wing feathers. And now I thought we'd go to the tips and the tail because there are a few and we bring them out and then we'll get a really cool contrast. Otherwise it's all very gray, isn't it? So let's have a look where, I, where I've gone to. Right, and you can see here, I've just come in on these tail feathers because you can hardly see them there. This was the, remember I said yesterday, we're going to concentrate on this bird. So I thought rather than go back to where we've already been here, right, let's go to the base and let's get that brilliant black in. Now let me just reach across and show you. If we go up close, let, just let it focus a minute and then you'll see there. See? So there's a couple of little, see I've sort of located them on this bird as well down here, haven't I? Down there. Uh, right there. So if I turn it round so that it's the right way up, let's have a look from the top, let's have a little sweep. Right, so I looked for the black there. So that black there could be reflected on the other side of the dot 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 that we did yesterday, stippling. And then it's going to run through. See, that's why I wanted to do the stippling with you yesterday. Because you see the black, see how it, it just sort of blends into, doesn't it? Right, and then the other thing that I wanted to show you, this you may not be able to see it. Let me just point to it while we're up close so that you can see it. If we look uh, there, see these feathers here? They're white at the base. These are black by contrast, and these are white. So I thought we'd do that today. Just in half an hour, we'll do this, we'll do that, and we'll do that, okay? How's that sound? Yeah? Doable in half an hour? I reckon, don't you? I do think so, I do think so. So let's start then, let's, let's just start. Um, and what I'll do, just quickly, I'll come in, let's see how tight we are. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pan out again for the telly, but it's okay, I'll remember. I'll remember. Right, let's go in that tight. Okay, and then you can really see what we're doing. See, because what makes that lovely feather, that, that tip, really pop, if you like, is that white line in there. You know, doesn't, well, I think so. Let me put my Dame Edna's on. Let's have a little look at it. Right, and then let's decide. Everybody ready? Come on then, let's get going. We've only got half hour, so let's make the most of our... 30 minutes and counting. Right, so what I'm going to use, let's just have a look so I don't have to keep repeating myself. I'm going to use, I don't know if I'll even use that one. Right, the warm grey five, I'll use a white one, black one, then I'm going to use that very hard pencil, the F pencil. It's really I looked up, what's F stand for? I thought, well, I better not talk rubbish. And I was right, it stands for fine. What it means is that you can sharpen it to a really, really, really fine point, And it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to go blunt. It's really brilliant. Um, if you wonder where I get all these different HBs and Bs and what have you pencils, I bought, I've got these, that we got, we sell them. Right, these, these, this tin. That's where the F is in as well. Because for the, see the interesting thing is that most pencil companies do graphite pencils, but I find personally the Faber Castell ones they just are the best, and they they there is a marked difference between the F and the H or the HB and the two the two B. You know, there's a marked difference. Whereas I find with others, not product bashing, but I do find with others that sometimes there's just much of a muchness really. I can't. I, I have to sharpen a lot more. It's like they're a lot softer than these ones. But hey, you know, Faber-Castell, the, the, its reputation is, is established, isn't it? Right, so let's have a look. This is what we're gonna use then. Um, these are the basic pencils. Dark gray, warm gray five, black, white, F, and an eraser. That'll do. And, and I've got my other ones here for my little set. I've got them over here, look but I just singled out the ones, I might, you know, you might go, okay, let's grab the Payne's Grey. But I found that these were the ones that I used mostly. Cool? Right, sip of tea, and then we'll go. So. Ah, Bisto. Okay, so we'll t start with the grey one. Let's do the tips. Let's do this bit first. And what we're gonna do 
is when we look at that, let's look at, so you can see where I'm headed and we're going to go to this one here. So you see the idea is, let's just, you could take the, the, the dark grey pencil or you could take an HB pencil, whatever works for you. Right, and what we're going to do is actually create like a, like a tip, like a V, like that. Okay, so they're just going to be very lightly because you're going to, like that, I would say, about there. Just make a little pencil line so you know where to, you're going to sort of stay within this area when you go black. Because in a minute we are going black, black, right? But what we want to do is on the underside, on this side of the pencil line, see we want to come down, we want to leave a white line. It will be much, much easier if you establish that white line from at the outset rather than trying to reintroduce it. So in other words, if you look here, you see the white lines? I've put them in now. So in other words, I just don't go there. So I'm putting a little line in. You know, if you've got a... If you've got a hard pencil, this is probably going to do the job better. Right, so you just come down because it's got... And we're just going to leave a little white line on the spine of the feather, if you like. And if you do this, don't worry, we'll go in again. We're going to go in lots in a minute, but this just establishes that you're going to leave the white line. Not on that side, that side's going to be black. It's this bit here, it's this line here that you're going to leave. And if you, if you cut in too tight, then you can always take a rubber, or hail to the rubber. This is a Faber-Castell one as well. I'm the right shout out for Faber-Castell today. I do love the company, love the people. Right. So in we go again. Right, okay. So I'm happy with that. And let's get going. Right, so we've just established that spine, the white down the spine. Easier now than later. And once we've done that, let's go to that dark grey that we were talking about. Are we, am I even, am I in the picture? Yeah, I am, sorry. Right, so we'll go to that grey. Warm grey five. And what we'll do is, let's just, let's just establish, we go right up to the line with this one, and let's just get that grey in. I think... You could probably go straight in with black, but personally, <laughs> I, um, I tend to play it safe. So I'm going really lightly just to establish the game plan. Just get that grey shade in and then I know what, what I want to do with black. Yeah? Like that. Everybody all right? Good to have your company. It is. It clears the mind. Back to that again, isn't it? Right. So I've got that white line there. That white line won't show until this goes really black. When that goes really black, then we'll know. Right, so I've got my grey in. That's good enough. See now. If I took my tip now and just did a little bit of that, I can hear you already. Ah, oh, no, not again. <laughs> Give over. <laughs> there you go. Add a little bit of that just up on the join. Okay. It's like a. It's like creating a bit of a a blend, isn't it? It just it goes from grey up to speckled grey, which. It's all good. There you go. That's not hard, is it? Come on, people. Right. Okay. That's it. Right. Okay. Next layer of colour. You up for it? I would say probably we go with the same colour again. Right. So we've got that colour down. But what I, what I think I'll do is I'll turn it round and I'll work now in feathery strokes. So I'm coming in now with the darker. I don't want to press too hard. But I'm certainly adding another layer of that grey. And you remember our trick, right? I want to get in that line there. Light feathery strokes into the speckles. See? Right. In we go. Get that line right. And then in we go. Just flick, flick, flick. Like that. 
okay and we're going to get right in let me get my eye in on that see if I can't get in on that this is what I decided I went in with my hard pencil the F yeah see even if I can't get in with my colouring pencil I can get in really tight with this hard pencil <clears throat> right that ended up being a bit of a challenge right go again another layer of the grey see the, this warm grey is a, a kind of a brown almost isn't it right let's take that one again get in that tip see where I couldn't hope to get in with a pencil uh, with a colouring pencil I can get in with that right go again and we're just gonna get that see what you're doing as well is you're building up here because black's pretty severe when you go in with the black it's um it's black <laughs> it is really black but look how beautiful it looks when it's done yeah so what's lovely about this is it's like progress isn't it it's like you you can see the stages of the layering it's going to be great right so we've done that now and we've done our stippling in with this one so we've got that kind of edgy going now right defo happy with that okay you're all right there see so let's turn that round again and check comparison look black gray so that's nice as well though isn't it so now let's go for it black okay over the top let's turn it again and and if if this makes you a little bit anxious just imagine going on television in 45 minutes <laughs> then, then get anxious no I understand but it's it's this is play this is just play okay it's just play it's a postcard it's a nice arty postcard all right here we go ready so we'll start with a large one and we're going to come in and remember you've got your hard pencil if you if you if you if all else fails you can go in with a hard pencil right now let's get that edge deliberate strokes like real so then we're going to leave that white right there and what we're doing now is we're going over the exactly where we laid the gray down we're going to lay down that black now how high do you want to come up see put another layer look how dark it gets black is black isn't it right but the thing is black is black but black's also grayscale look it's it's that light it's that darker it's that darker it's black right so you've got all these different in fact above that one <clears throat> let me just get my eye in you've got lighter and lighter and it's all done with a black pencil okay so same with an hb same with a with a graphite pencil but there's something this this level of blackness is just deluxe rich so now it's up to you how hard you press that's going to dictate how black your tips are okay so then you go in here again right and up we go <sighs> right then if you feel your eyes are not going to do it get in that tight then don't just get the pencil out and do it that's it but you need the black see the difference to get that black tip on the eagle's wing I think it's lovely isn't it there you go and you see the white coming out now the white the sp that see now how much how far do you want to come up now 
so you can come up there you go and the longer you do this the blacker and the blacker and the blacker it will get it's it's great really what we can do with a pencil I think right and then you see again start on the actual start on the black with your stippling and then wander out a bit yeah so when you turn it round so we've got two down we've already done two now see and where you can't get in to the edge here take your pencil because I find my eyesight well it's not even my eyesight I can see the line the pencil's too soft and it won't it just won't get in there whereas this does there you go and you can these are this is great for dot for dotting for stippling and it's got a nice gray scale there doesn't that look good see the only thing we haven't done is come the other way from the top so if you look here you can see it's the grayness under there that's going to bring these in so for example let's go back to that number what was it five or four and then again see with this I could use the black look I just but if I'm going to go to the black I'm going to this this light this this shade here so it's a lot easier just to take a gray to start with it's a different color as well different color different tone but if you come in here now see do you remember what we were doing yesterday where we go in and we really lightly and then we see what's what's on top of what don't we so this one here for example let me just jump across this one is definitely this is underneath that one right so you're going to get the shadows going now so this is under there that's like that this one's round here like that so it's all this again remember what we did yesterday and that's how you start bringing in the color from the from the top of the feather see it's good isn't it just lightly just what we did yesterday again more of that then you come down and that's how you get these beautiful tips but you don't really want to take a bit of black black's grayer isn't it black's not so brown see and then I can go in really lightly with the black as well like that you there sorry I get so gro so engrossed in this don't you right really lightly let's come down okay so you can see now how how do you know what I think? I think I'm going to use a lighter grey in the middle just to tone the two together. Yeah, get a chisel. This is cold grey three and this one's going to just, just let me add a little bit of, there you go, it's quicker. It's quicker using a, a, a light colour. There you are. Right, and now I've done that. See, I can come in over the top of that one. Okay. I don't want to spoil it by rushing you know but what I can do is now this is where that stippling comes in again see do a bit of stippling I haven't done those two that's why it looks a bit and then we're just gonna so this one is over the top of this one but I want to be I don't want to lose all my whiteness so I'm going to use these bits here there and you know what we were saying this week? This is all about a bird at a time, an area at a time, a wing at a time, a feather at a time. Look, isn't that cool? There. So we've done the black on those and we can finish that up afterwards because I want to go now, I want to show you, I want to show you the white, the white tipped ones here. Let's go in here. Let me show you. We can, I can actually show you on, on the one that I'm working on. If I take a white pencil, you've got a white pencil, you've got it in the Perga liners, you've got it in, um, we've got loads of white pencils here. So this is a Perga liner. Oh no, this is a Polychromo one. No, it's not. 
This is a um, Pergamano one. This is a Polychromo one. There's same, aren't they? White's white. Right, so I'm going to take a white and I'm just going to add a bit of white to the tip. You know our old trick when we go, when we, what we do is we, um, we add a kind of a resist by laying down, like I'm real scratchy, just in the tip. Can you see that? Just scratchy in the tips. And if, you, if you're wondering, well, have I done it or haven't I done it? When you hold it to the light, it'll be shiny. So let me just, let me hold mine to the light. See, if I hold it like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So straight away, when you hold it to the light, you can see. Oh, yeah, I missed that bit. Okay, no worries. Yeah, so that's, that's what you're doing now, whether it's a pergoliner or a polychromo or a pergamano pencil. You just want to do white like that. Right, now, let me think for a minute. What did I do here? Okay, I definitely went in with the darker one, right? So we're going in with the warm grey five, a darker one. And then what we'll do is, let me just make sure I've got the white in place. Sorry about this. I just need to check the light. Yeah. So let's say I'm going for this one here, this one. So I've got my white in. Let's just focus on one bit now. I've got my white in. Now I'm going to take my grey, but I'm working down towards it. But, and this is the key, you remember how we left the little white area there? We're going to do exactly the same down the spine. So let, let's come in, see if I can bring this right in. How many pencils can you hold in one hand, Barbara? If I come in, let me just put my finger on it and come in. Sorry, it's all blurry. We'll get there. Right, now, let me come in a bit closer even. Okay, can you see that little white line? So that means when we're flicking out, we're going to avoid the spine of the feather again, that middle line, all right? We're going to avoid that one. Let's come in here. Right, so now, for example, if I come in from the top here, th this one here, as I come down, let me turn it, make it come to you, it's easier. So I want to avoid that middle line. So I'm going to come in like that. It's almost like a V, but it's there. You see? And then as I come in, if I take my really hard pencil, I can establish that line even better. Right, there you go. But then when I hit the white, this is what I'm saying. When you hit the white, you'll know you hit the white because suddenly the greyness is gone. It just doesn't, it doesn't react to the, the paper anymore or the card because the, the white shields. It's, it's, it's good. You watch. As you go down, you'll see. And you'll know if you didn't... I'm going to get that. I'm going to use that pencil to get a really good, yeah, see? And then as you come down, you'll know when you hit the white because the grey stops working. It's weird. Good though. So that's how you get those really super feathers, those ones. So white first, white first, get that white down in the tip. I think I missed that one. Right, white first white. Let's do these three. Okay, cool. And then we'll take the grey and then we'll make the artwork come to you. It's easier. Stay away from the middle line just to give yourself that that spine. There you go. And then as soon as I hit the white, I can feel it doesn't matter. Even when I press hard, it, it doesn't work. And then I can go in with that really hard pencil. There, this is good, isn't it? See? So that's going to give me that shadow there. Now turn it round. So what we're getting here, right, as we're travelling around the big eagle, the beautiful bird, what's happening is we're getting different feathers, different strokes, different feathers in different areas, different tricks. See? And then, yeah, there you go. So this, this is a great way to get a tip, a white tip, see? And as I come down, yeah, it just won't go. It just doesn't happen. See, I have to, I'd have to press really hard 
to get that. But it just reminds me not to go there anyway. So that's not a bad thing. There you are. So I've got my white. It's good, isn't it? See, and then, I, and then I cut in underneath and we go back to those layers again. See how one is under the other one is under the other one. There, cool, isn't it? Like that. There. Got time for one more? Yeah. Come on. I could do this all day. Well, I can't, but I wish I could. Mind you, you've got to be careful what you wish for. <laughs> there we are. What a magnificent bird, eh? So I take that hard pencil and get in there. Right. So at 11 o'clock, which is half an hour from now, I'm going to be showcasing Tina's beautiful snowflake grids. Oh. See, we've got a few grids going on. We've got Josie's brand new diagonal grids tomorrow. They're amazing. And today I'm going to I'm going to show you how to make. You remember, you'll enjoy this because of our shack shack thing with the snowflakes last week. You're going to really wait till you see these snowflakes. Um, yeah interesting um, and I, and I, we we also um we've got a new plate on there a couple of new plates on there for different for shapes and that look look <laughs> i've got to show you look there you go recognize look i wonder where we got these ideas from <laughs> mm. yeah so i want to show you how they work they're good whether you're a groover or not, they're just good for they're good for design. Right, see? So then we go like that. This is great, I love this. And then you get in with that tight pencil and you can really, see, because when you go over the white, what you'll find is when you go over the, the white with the gray polychromo or Pence, colouring pencil, you'll see as soon as it hits the white, it just, it can't, it can't stay dark. It has to, so you get a really good join, like a real mottled join. Smooth and good in. Even if I say so myself. Right, there you go. Doesn't that look great? Now you just got to do it all around here, all around here, all along there. I think we'll make those ones white tipped, these ones, these ones are going to be white tipped, yeah? Because we didn't really, these ones we, we were more concerned with, these ones we were more concerned with getting it in the right right order, weren't we? But now we could start, these ones here could start getting white tips on them. Yeah, I think so. Right, and then these ones here, the tail feathers, I'm going to make those black tipped like that. The tail feathers I'm going to make black tipped. So there you go, my friends. What's the time? I'm afraid I'm going to have to love you and leave you because I've got half an hour to turn this round and make sure that I'm, I'm hooked up with my earphones and everything. And uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. I think it went well, even for half an hour, eh? It was all right, you see? It's amazing what you can accomplish if you focus. So, uh, so I'll see you tomorrow morning, but tomorrow it'll be nine, nine o'clock, early early rising on Friday. So at nine o'clock tomorrow, just for half an hour again, uh, till 9.30, because then at 10 o'clock, we've got the big cheese on her chanda, which is that printed parchment, the poppets. I've got a feeling that's going to go well. I do. I have a really good feeling about that one. So um, yeah, you might want to join me if you're interested. Anyway, today I've got to go. Love you and leave you. Take care. See you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Carry on with the eagles after the Pergamano show on her chanda. Lots of love and thanks, Stuart. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm. mm.